Hello traders, this is Blake Morrow and you are listening to the week ahead video for September 13, 2020. I am filming this just a day early because tonight my wife and I are celebrating our 17 year wedding anniversary. We've been together, I think over 20, but you know, 17 years since we've been married. So it's been a long time. You gotta celebrate anybody who can tolerate living with me for 17 years, that's for sure. My wife isn't listening to this video. I'm pretty sure she's not. If she is, happy anniversary, honey. I love you. All right, so uh, because of that, I wanted to film this early and uh, get it out of the way. I, I don't think there's gonna be much gapping in the market over the weekend, but you never know. You know, there's that TikTok news that seems like it's just around the corner. Um, there's a lot happening this next week that I want to talk about, uh, you know, that, 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 that's on the docket um, as we approach the U.S. elections. So... You know, there's a lot of question marks and and frankly, I have to tell you, there's just some levels in the market that I'm really paying very close attention to at this stage. Um, not so much, you know, my expectations on what they're going to be based on what the Fed's going to say on Wednesday, because, you know, let's 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 talk about that for a second. I mean, the Fed is meeting on Wednesday and unless you and I are listening to the to different Federal Reserve, I think we all can walk away already knowing that the Fed's not going to be raising rates for a long time. So the question is, isn't going to be whether they are dovish or not, because they're definitely going to be dovish, but it's whether the market has priced that in. And I mean, if you look at the S&P and, and really what we've done in, um, and, and you guys, you guys should you know, obviously, if you, you use Forex analytics uh, last week, you knew you knew we were completing the AB equals CD um, on the daily charts and on the weekly charts. You know, you knew we were already doing that. So and we had this megaphone pattern. So that's that's all fine and dandy. But the question is, you know, has the market already realized that the Fed's not, you know, raising rates for a long time? And, and I mean, you know, you look at what we've done post COVID lockdown rallying to new all-time highs and and obviously we're failing up here which is something that we do have to keep in mind that it's like a failed breakout attempt on the s p but more importantly is you know has, has the market already priced this all in because you know i don't know when life is going to be how should i say back to normal i guess post covid we are heading into flu season we're heading into, you know, which is already a lot of unknowns. Um, you know, is there really going to be a vaccine for, for you know, COVID or not? I'm no medical expert. I, I don't know. But we are heading into a, you know, like I said, the flu season. So you match put flu on top of COVID. Is that going to really, you know, is, is it going to freak people out? I mean, you know, is life going to be less than normal or more, more like normal as we move into the election season? Then you got the elections, probably the most highly anticipated um, probably going to be one of the most volatile elections coming up in the next couple of months. You know, will investors be a little nervous? And the Fed's going to be dovish, right? They're already going to be dovish. They're probably going to be more dovish because I doubt we're going to get some stimulus package before the election now. So, you know, it, does the market respond to a dovish Fed knowing that, hey, they're never going to raise rates anyway? So now we just need to sell stocks because they've had a great recovery or do they st stay supported because supported because the Fed continues to stay dovish and the market thinks that, you know, well, they're going to continue to provide liquidity. So the market shouldn't really sell off. So I, and I don't know, I, I wish I, I wish I had the answer, but I will tell you this for me, I am really most concerned with this 3,300 level in the S&P, the 50 D DMA right here, because my opinion is if we break through that this week, we are going to see the 200 day moving average, which is this, this previous broken trend line. You can see it right here, right? It comes in right around the 200 day moving average and that's gonna be right around 3,100. So I think uh, the trap door, if you will, for S&Ps opens up below there. Will we go there? I don't know. And there's a few other things that I'm looking at to help me make that decision 
whether risk is going down, you know, up or down, you know, you know, whether, whether we're going to see risk on or risk off is going to, you know, coincide with a few other things in currencies and also in commodities. So let's uh, take a look at a couple other instruments really quick that I think are very, very important to, to view. So if you look at crude oil, crude's gonna be really important because crude oil started to roll over and crude is, it, the only thing that was holding up crude oil, in my opinion, when we were trading around 40 or you know just around that 200 day moving average let's see this is a weekly chart so let's go over to the daily chart we were um you know holding above that 200 day moving average over here um earlier or late in the summer was just a weak dollar but because the dollar has recovered a little bit you know the crude oil market slumped finally below 38 bucks and now we're approaching, you know, this this right here is 36, and that's horizontal support. A break below 36 is going to tell us that, you know, maybe there's going to be less demand. Life isn't going to be quite as normal, and maybe it's going to be a little risk off. But there are other things that I'm still looking at. But before I go into those other things, I have to mention this. And stick around because... I've got other things to talk about. Um, hey, if you guys haven't seen, if you are a Forex analytics lover like me, I may only be, I may be a founder, but I'm also a lover. <laughs> we have our new seasonal offer. We haven't had a seasonal offer in, uh, I want to say, probably six months. And usually we have them every few months. Uh, we just kind of had it on the side. We put it on the sideline for a little bit. But this is our new seasonal offer. 12 months for the price of seven. So that's an annual subscription for the price of seven months. Six months or a semi-annual for the price of four. So you get two free months out of six. Or buy one month, get one month free. It's a great offer. If you guys have been waiting to be part of the um, uh, Forex Analytics community, this is the time to do it for your premium subscription. Obviously, we still have the light version. There's no specials in the light version, but we still have that available. But guys, while we have this offer up, take advantage of it. Also, I need to mention that we have the Traders Summit event. This is an amazing event. Look at the what you just saw here, by the way. This is um this is the debate panel. And it's going to be hosted by Abigail Doolittle from Bloomberg. All right? That's going to be really cool. Um, look at all the speakers that we have. I mean, this lineup is better than the, I don't want to say it was better than the last lineup because the last lineup was pretty darn good too. It's just, you know, different, different, some of some different people are here with us, but an amazing lineup from a technical asset manager, macro perspective, big names are it's going to be an amazing event. So you have to register and make sure you, it's free by the way. Make sure you register and reserve your seat because you might want to listen to it live. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you register early. Because if you don't grab a seat, you won't be able to. And you might say, well, I'll just register and, you know, I'll, 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 I'm going to listen to it online after the fact, you know, because we'll email you the, 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 um, the recordings. But how about if you have the ability to listen to it live, but you didn't register in time? And you didn't get a seat. Well, make sure you register. It's really easy. Just click there, put in your name, email address, correct email address so we can send you uh, the links. And uh, guys, don't miss this event. Uh, I am going to be interviewing Danielle DiMartino Booth, which is pretty cool. Um, she's uh, she's a, 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 a previously worked for the Fed, worked for Dick Fisher um, out of the Dallas Fed. So she's a uh, she's very, very... Um, uh, popular macro person. So I'm, I'm really excited to actually meet her in person since I used to live in Dallas for uh, 13 years. So um, I'm sure she was there too. <laughs> anyway, so make sure you register for the Traders Summit event. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be really awesome and it's coming up really quickly. All right. One last thing I need to mention, then I'm going to get back to the charts. Um, this is our YouTube channel. I don't think most of you know how to do this. First of all, there's a button right here. It says subscribe. I'm obviously subscribed. You, if you click here, you can get you know notified when a new video comes out. 
because we do so many great videos you can see we did like we've had we've uploaded like almost 3000 videos over the last few years this is all free these videos so make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel click that little icon so you get notified um when they when they all come out and make sure you do that if you haven't done so already and when you see a video of ours hit the thumbs up too give us a thumbs up like it share it okay back to the charts so we talked about the s p but that, that's not just the thing that i'm looking at okay what else am i looking at i'm looking at gold you know gold uh, for, first of all, I got to say Goldman um, is long gold. Uh, they're bullish while we are above 19, I think they said 1905. Whoops, you know, like, let me undo that. But I'm going to tell you what, below 1900, it's going to get that. I, I'm assuming anybody who's long gold, their stops are right there. You'll notice that we have broken long time trend line. That green line that you see there, that green line, let me, uh, let me do that. That is the previous all-time highs, right? So you can see how we're just resting right above those previous all-time highs. One of the things that, that's going to clue me in to um, what to do with the dollar is really here in gold. Because if gold breaks down, then I know the dollar is strengthening. If I know the dollar is strengthening, I also know that stocks are probably weakening. So if the S&P breaks lower below this 50 day DMA, which I showed you on, um, uh, let me move this really quick. If the S and P breaks below the uh, 50 DMA, which I showed you on the other charts, right? Um, over here, get rid of the data flash. That's part of Forex analytics, by the way, uh, it's, uh, it's included with rather, uh, you know what I showed you here on the S and P, you know, the break below the uh, 50 DMA right here. And that breakout point, okay, right over here. You can see it right like this. See, if we break through here, we start breaking through these levels around the 3,300 level, roughly. That would signal to me that not only S&P is going down, probably gold's heading down at that point in time. And then that means that the dollar is probably strengthening. Now, if you look at the dollar index, the dollar index has broken out of this descending channel, right? You can see the descending channel here, okay? But I can't turn like outright bullish the dollar until we break back above 94. That would also be this previous support from back here in July and uh, 2018, September 2018, okay? That's like was horizontal support it's also capped us on any rally. So a break above 94 would be bullish. Now, one of the other things, if you're looking at the dollar index is if you look at the weekly trend line from 2011 to current prices, you can see the spike low down here in 2014, we're basically holding we had a false breakdown and then we bounced. So the last two weeks have been a little bit of a recovery. But one of the things that I, and that I just keep thinking about is that the market is extremely bullish and long euros. And so, you know, which makes sense. I mean, you know, I, I've, I've given you all the reasons over the last, you know, several weeks, last couple months, why bullish, we're bullish the euro. You know, I think there's a fiscal union that has been taking place with the COVID relief in the European Union, that's a big deal. But the market is extremely bullish, the euro, and bearish the dollar because risk appetite has been so strong. But if risk appetite, uh, rap, uh, <laughs> ask rapatite, risk appetite starts to wane, the dollar may strengthen, we might get a recovery, which would mean a counter trend move in the euro. Now, I'm hoping that the Euro gets a move back down to 115. But I think me, you, and everybody under the sun is really hoping that the Euro gets some sort of recovery back to, or uh, uh, sell off down to 115 because they can, you know, you could be a buyer down there. But why couldn't we get, you know, a move in the Euro back to 116? 
you know, obviously we could, you know, maybe even make it down to 115. It depends how big and how aggressive a sell-off, you know, how big of a sell-off emerged. But I think that stocks could be ready to pull back a little further, maybe back towards that 200 day moving average. And then we would see the dollar, you know, recover a bit. We'd have the Euro maybe down trading down to 116, maybe down at 115. And, you know, and it's not just the Euro, it's the cable too. I mean, you look at the pound, you know, uh, let me delete that. I haven't, I haven't messed with these charts in a while, the sp specific chart, but you can see this is the cable long term. We had a, we had a real big reversal this week as we came out of this, um, this is an ascending wedge, right? We had a throw over, which is a false breakout above the highs and a reversal. And now, you know, the cable is back at the 200 day moving average, 618 retracement, but you know, with Brexit looming and you know, the possibilities of a no, 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 no deal Brexit looming. I mean, could the cable break below the 200 day moving average? I think that's one of the reasons why the Euro has actually stopped up. And the, one of the reasons why the Euro has struggled with rallying is, you know, the sell off that we've seen in the cable. And if the cable continues lower, could that drag down the Euro as well? There are other currency pairs that I'm looking at guys. Um, and, and really, if you want my analysis, uh, I, 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 put in the basic technical analysis for, you know, a lot of these currency pairs, uh, well, actually every end of day analysis in, uh, in, in, in the, um, Forex analytics platform is given to you by me, um, at the end of the day, throughout the course of the week on the weekend, uh, I, I actually did some of them, uh, this, this week. Um, I did some of them this week. Uh, I did some of the uh, some of the indexes, and I'm, I'm just was helping out the team. But if you want my analysis throughout the course of the week and want to get to you know to to understand how I feel about every major currency pair, make sure you listen to the face webinars every day because every day we do these face webinars. You can see the recordings are posted right here on our YouTube channel. Make sure you're listening in. So guys, sign up for for, for the uh, sign up for the Trader Summit event. Make sure you take advantage of the offer, the our seasonal offer for Forex Analytics. And if you're watching this video via YouTube, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with people on social media, especially if you find it useful. And guys and gals, my name is Blake Morrow. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you on the FACE webinar Monday morning. Have a great remainder of your weekend.